Uh, so Viatrak sent a round from champions between the URX and Fnatic to analyze. Let's see what this is. I, I didn't watch it before. I'm, I'm not sure if I remember it. So let's see. Fnatic on attack. Chronicle didn't use the stun. TP early from Omen. Ult as a counter from Stax. A little bit early from the stacks, by the way. It has been the this ult from the sky is, is like way too early, by the way. Like it doesn't really stop the execute. Both the TP is like a jet, essentially. Very, very, very nice combo by them. So essentially what they do is they supplement this Cypher Cage with the Omen TP. So you have Omen TP, Omen TP, and then Sky Flash, I think, over Wall? No, because I would flash the omen. So it has to be like flashing over here. Let me pay attention. Where is where is the sky flash landing? Okay, so the sky flash just goes in a straight line. Through the cage. And pops like this. Which I... I, I feel like... By the way, you could... No, it's fine. Okay, so the flash needs to be like this, because the point is you need to flash people in the elbow. Something, I was just thinking about it. So, the flash goes through the, through the, oh, uh, through the, through the cypher cage, make sure that it, it flashes all of those positions, and then boasts as essentially the entry, uh, because he created the space by TPing here, right? So, yeah, this is really well done, gets a free kill because of the, because of the awesome flash, but... Uh, Stax just peeks out out of heaven because he wants to help, but he's being held by Raze. I'm. He didn't flash though. Stax just went out without a flash. Look at this. That's a big mistake. When Stax peeks out of heaven, he doesn't flash out of the smoke. Now imagine if he used the freebird technique. Imagine if he. Imagine if he would have used the freebird technique. DRX sent back away from this. Finding a clean plant here, Durka. Was it a position to get very, very? Okay, they go for the old orb on Leo because he's one away. So pretty good. No reason the Fnatic shouldn't hunt for these rifles as well. Apply further pressure onto the finance. Fnatic brink of getting the showstopper. And it's a save. Yeah, it's a save. All right. Thank you, Vyatrak, for sending this round. Is a, I remember this, this 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 execute from watching it on on live uh, during the live match. It's very well thought out. Like you can see how important is space creation and working with like flashes as can openers, right? Instead of playing for info. Like this is this is a very good example of how you can do an execute that is not um, that is not like essentially a cookie cutter. So you don't know what to expect. Fnatic is very good at that stuff because they can come up with like creative solutions to normal problems, right? And you can see how many like combos of utility are being done uh, at this. Like the stun also, like you, you can literally see that this is being stunned, this is being flashed, right? So the only position that Boaster has to be like a little bit aware of is behind screens, but the screen guy is being stunned, so he cannot help. So if anyone is out in the open, he gets absolutely demolished, and that's it. You know. So and and what is important though, Boaster cannot use his paranoia because he has no timing. Like there's maybe he could have used it after his first TP, but he is like smoking here, right? He fucked up the smoke, by the way, in CD, I just realized. He he literally fucked up the smoke in CD. Uh, because that's not a one-way. But he didn't have time. He didn't have time to actually uh, do, the, do, do the paranoia. But, yeah. I, I, I'll be honest with you. If Stax uses a Freebird, he is probably getting like a 1-2k. You know? Alright, thank you for watching. Boop.